Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. We have a very simple recipe. I will be showing you guys how to make candied yam two ways, okay? So stay tuned, be sure you're subscribed, like the video. Without further ado, let's begin. All right, to get started, I am going to cut my sweet potatoes. I peel them off camera because that will save us some time, right? So I am just going to cut them not too, too big because we want them to cook really fast. So this is how I cut them. After I cut them that way, I am going back to cut them straight in the middle. Now once you're done with them, you can give them a quick wash and then we're going to start boil them. I am going to boil it for about seven minutes because we're going to bake these. We don't not want to over, you know, boil it because it will be cooked under the oven. So just add your water and cover it and let it cook. Once your seven minutes is up, this is how it's supposed to look. It's not going to be too like tender. It should be like in between because we're going to bake it now we're going to make the the sauce or the the candy caramel candy <laughs> i added one stick of butter in there i am going in with one cup of light brown sugar i will be adding my cinnamon in there as well as a little bit of pure vanilla extra remember pure vanilla extra And then we're going to give it a quick mix until your sugar is well melted and then we can add the um, the yam. At this time your yam should be done <laughs> and drain the water out of it and we're going to add the yams in this sauce, this caramel sauce. This is so easy you guys but it tastes so so good. This is the perfect easy recipe for your thanksgiving dinner <laughs> it's just so easy it will not take you long to make it so while you're baking your turkey or whatever else you're baking be sure to put that you know to keep that in mind if you want to you know sweet things up a little now this is how it looks i am going to separate it in two different containers because i am going to show you guys how to make it two ways like i said we're going to separate them into different baking container. First, I spray it with some nonstick spray, and then we're going to add the, the yams in there. All right, that one is good. We're going to move that on the side so I can do the other one. Oh, I guess I already did it. <laughs> I already poured in there. Now I am going to pour the syrup. This is the good old sweet syrup you need. Just pour that on there, do not throw it away. And then I will be adding on one container, I will be adding marshmallows. Yes, you guys. <laughs> Just add your marshmallows all over. Just spread them out. Now I do it that way because I know some people might like marshmallows. I never make them with marshmallows, but give it a try. You might like it, you never know. Okay, this is how they look. I am about to bake these on 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. This is how they look. I just love marshmallows. <laughs> All right, this is how they look, you guys. They just look nice and beautiful and pretty. Once they're come out, you have yourself candied yam, marshmallow candied yam, or candied yams with marshmallows this is it you guys i really truly hope you guys enjoyed today's video give this a try you know sweet potatoes is one of my favorite fries i will not buy the other one if i go to a restaurant so i thought that will be a great thanksgiving side dish for y'all if you like it please give it a thumbs up 
Let me know down below what you're cooking for Thanksgiving. And subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys very soon on my next video. Bye, guys.